this is a quality motor right here. This is a probably 1940s Bell and Gossett circulator pump motor for a home boiler heating system. Um, as you can see right here, this thing has actually been full of water right up to that level. The pump had seized up. I have the entire unit. Um, in fact, the mounting cradle for it is right here. And then the pump would mount to the front of this C face bracket here. Um, the pump motor has a real short shaft to it because it would have uh, a bracket with some springs and the springs would attach the pump so the motor is indirectly coupled to the pump. Use the springs to absorb vibrations and stuff I guess. So the pump had seized up and this, the motor's okay so it was, it was left outside for I don't know how many years until I found it and uh, it's kind of rusty looking but I brought it in took the pump off it and hooked up some wires to it and a plug and uh, lo and behold the motor runs fine it runs great, it's nice and quiet makes a little bit of a clicking noise to open it up to see what's going on it needs to be cleaned out pretty good but I found this rust and I was like holy crap Otherwise, the bearings are in perfect shape, and it runs nice. So I'm going to get this sucker cleaned up, and I'm going to make a nice mounting cradle for it. Just modify that one, and it's going to run my drill press. Cool. So I'm just going to put some new wires on this, because these ones here are all dry rotted. But it shouldn't be too bad. I tried it out earlier and it seems to have plenty of power. Because this motor gets kind of hot. I think the, I think this motor is about done, unfortunately. This uh, is a quarter horsepower GE. This is a one-sixth horsepower Bell & Gossett. Real high quality motor.